With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, our question is, we have to check the statements. It is true or false, okay? So statement 1 says, waves on a string are always transverse in nature. So statement 1 is true because, let me show you with figure, okay? Let's say this is a wave on a string. Okay. So transverse wave is basically that wave in which particle are oscillate perpendicular to the velocity of wave. Okay. So wave velocity in this direction. This is wave velocity. Okay and particles are oscillate like this ok so in this particle only oscillate like this they can't be oscillate like this because for longitudinal wave wave particles oscillate in the direction of wave velocity so in this waves in case of waves on a string particle can't be oscillate in the direction of wave velocity so waves on a string are always transverse in nature ok so statement 1 is true now statement 2 says statement 2 the velocity of transverse wave propagating along a string is independent of the frequency of propagating wave so it is also true because we know that velocity of wave on a string is under root t by mu. Okay, this is wave velocity on a string. Okay, it is equal to under root t by mu, where t is tension in a string and mu is mass per unit length so you can easily see in this wave is independent of frequency of propagating wave ok so statement 2 is also true another thing there is no connection between statement 2 and statement 1 so we can say statement 1 and statement 2 both are true and statement 2 is not a correct ex explanation for statement 1 so from that we can say option b is right okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today